Oh boy. The Seahawks are on the verge of upsetting the 49ers in overtime. Here's the kick. It is. It's good. Seattle has done it. They have upset it. The San Francisco 49ers in overtime. What a game. Both teams did their very best to give each other the game. But somebody had to win it. And in overtime, after several mistakes from Russell Wilson, he finally says enough is enough. And he, he uses his legs, gets them the first down, gets them into field goal range. Sets up this kick, and they're walking out of Santa Clara with a smooth victory. And finally, the San Francisco 49ers are no longer undefeated. This whole game has been crazy. This has just been, first of all, injuries. Everybody's been injured. Right, Tyler was taken out. Emmanuel Sanders was taken out. Dudes on both sides. Both teams had so many injuries. Every 10 minutes there was an injury somewhere. It was oh man, it was it was disgusting, man. It was it was tough. This was a brutal game. A brutal game. Both defenses came up with some turnovers. And that's because there was some it was just some sluggish play from both the Seahawks offense and the 49ers offense. Let's start with the um Seahawks offense. Russell Wilson just showed us why he deserves to be the MVP. Because he won this game despite his offense. His offense fumbled the ball three times. Now granted, in overtime, he did throw an interception. And that really looked like that was about to seal the game. But he got another two opportunities. And he finally managed to get them to win here. But his his offense, first his um, one of his running backs, they fumbled the ball. San Francisco takes it. Then um, DK Metcalf, he fumbles the ball trying to, he gets stripped it back, trying to reach for the end zone. San Francisco takes that again. And then on the third one, he got, it was another fumble there that San Francisco took in to make the game close. Not only that, but his offensive line did not block for him for most of this game. He got sacked five times in this game. It was absolutely brutal for Russell Wilson. But he kept his head up. He kept doing what he had to do to help them win this game. On the flip side, Jimmy Garoppolo, this guy was just poor today. He was poor today. You could name six interceptions that this dude should have had in this game. He, he finished with one, but he had six interceptions because the Seattle defenders, these guys can't catch. Freaking um, Jimmy Garoppolo is throwing them the ball, throwing it right to their hands, and they're not catching it. This game should have been over long ago. There's no reason for it to be in overtime. He was handing them the ball. He did not play well. He started off the game hot, you know, I think 10 for 15, had over 100 yards pass, and he had a touchdown pass. But as soon as Emmanuel Sanders went down, he couldn't move the ball. He, he started struggling. He ended up throwing a pick. He got strip sacked twice. Clowney was the best player on the Seattle defense today because he was just torching whoever was covering him on the offensive line. And I'm telling you, Grapple's going to have nightmares tonight because of Clowney. Clowney strip-sacked this dude twice. He was getting to him, hitting him, blocking all his passes. There was nothing Grapple could do. Nobody on that offensive line could stop Clowney. But at the end of the day, in the fourth quarter, we get to this moment, 21-21 all. Um... With six minutes left to go in the game. And I'm looking at this like this is about to be the signature win for Russell Wilson. He's going to take them down there, score a touchdown. They get inside the field goal range right around the 30. And they get on third and one. Instead of putting the ball in the hands of the possible MVP, they decide to run it with Chris Carson. He gets stopped as fourth and two. They choose not to go for it and be aggressive. They kick the field goal. San Francisco gets the ball back. They come down the field, take get a field goal of their own. And... We're tied. We're heading into overtime. In overtime, Russell Wilson got the ball, and he came out here, and he started marching. And it looked like he was ready to make his statement right here. He gets inside the 20 in the red zone, and then he makes a terrible decision. He floats that ball up there, and the 49ers pick it off, return it to midfield. And at that point, I'm looking at this like this is game over. The 49ers are in field goal range. They're going to take this game. Russell Wilson's moment to shine, his statement, his signature win, he just lost it. But the 49ers' incompetence, 
they got into field goal range, but when you have a rookie kicker out there, he's going to choke. He's a rookie kicker. I'm sorry. Not everybody can be Tucker. It, it's just not going to happen. Not everybody can be Justin Tucker. He's a rookie. He made a clutch kick to get him into overtime, but now you want him to make another kick to win the game? It was a, I think it was a 47-yard field goal, and he missed it so bad. It was wide to the left, and all of a sudden, Russell Wilson gets another chance. The offense comes out. They can't move the ball. They can't get into field goal range. They get stopped. They got to punt the ball back. The 49ers incompetence. Jimmy Garoppolo, again, looking to just give the game to the 49ers, just throwing it to their hands, missing his receivers, getting into the hands of the Seahawks defenders. They can't take it. <sighs> Jimmy Garoppolo is terrible in this game. But even with that, you know, they don't get anything. They have to punt. And second possession, I mean, well, third possession for Russell Wilson with three minutes left to go in the game. He said enough is enough. He's taking the ball down the field. They're about to get stopped again. It's third down. And Russell Wilson uses his legs. He escapes to his right and runs for 21 yards. Gets them into field goal range. And they just gotta they just run the clock down, set up the field goal, and they walk out of Santa Clara beating the 49ers. And this is the signature win everybody has been waiting for. This is what Russell Wilson needed on his resume for his MVP statement. Because you look at all the MVPs, they've got a signature win. I mean, well, really with Chris McCaffrey, almost every game he plays is his signature game. But, you know, with Deshaun Watson, his signature game is beating Mahomes and the Chiefs in Kansas City. Well, Lamar Jackson, his signature win is beating the New England Patriots on primetime. Russell Wilson needed a signature win for his MVP candidate. Um, for his MVP campaign because he's got better numbers than anybody. He's playing on a higher level. But this game, it was a struggle for him. This 49ers defense is no joke. But he still found the way to win. When you are a great quarterback, you find ways to win. And when you have opportunities, you got to trust your defense to make a stop. They made a stop. Boy, Faye. <sighs> what a game. This really does look like the game of the year. Just, just cravings all around. Turnovers, mistakes, crucial moments, big plays, and Russell Wilson closing it out, make, getting that statement when he's needed for his MVP. I don't know what else we could take from this. The Seattle Seahawks, they improved to 8-2, and two, getting a very crucial win that could help them later in the season, possibly for them to possibly win the NFC West. As for the 49ers, you've been dethroned. Just like the New England Patriots, you are no longer undefeated. You have lost at home. You are 8-1. and one. Does that mean the season's over? No. But you, that means you still got more improvements to make. Because this is a game that really, you guys probably should have won. Your defense was playing great. But Jimmy Garoppolo was absolutely terrible. Three turnovers on him. Should have thrown like four interceptions. He couldn't control himself. He was so nervous. I don't know what he was thinking. His decision making was terrible in this game. I'm surprised they were still in it and it went into overtime. But yeah, the Seahawks moved to 8-2. and two. The 49ers dropped down to 8-1. and one, And now things get interesting in the NFC West. When these two teams meet um, again later in the season, it really could determine who's going to win the NFC West. What a crazy game. That's all I got, and I'm out of here.